If you're looking for the most easiest and affordable way to self-host Superbase on a VPS and that too in less than 10 minutes, then this is the only video that you will have to watch. So by the end of this video, you will have your very own self-hosted Superbase up and running. So let's quickly get started. So this right here is the official website of Superbase. And if you're into vibe coding or if you're someone who builds app frequently, then you might know how important it is to use Superbase, right? Because just by using Superbase, you can add authentication databases, edge functions, vector storage, file storage, and all of that into your application. And it makes our life a whole lot easier. And again, if you want to straight away go ahead and use Superbase, well, you can just head over to superbase.com, sign up for a new account and start using it. And again, they also have like a free plan which you can use. And the issue with the free plan is that you can only have two apps running parallelly, like concurrently. So even if you have, let's say, multiple apps within the same account, only two of them can be active at the same time. And also after about seven or 14 days, if your app does not have any activity, Superbase itself will deactivate your app as well. And you'll have to manually go ahead and activate it. And if you want to get rid of these limitations, then of course you will have to upgrade to the pro plan and it will cost you $25 per month. And even then you have all these limits in here. But the good news here is that Superbase is actually an open source project. That means you have the option to self-host and use Superbase. And that is exactly what I'm going to show you in today's video. And now you might think self-hosting Superbase takes a lot of time and you will have to play around with all these code, Docker configuration and all that. Well, you're wrong. In just a single click, you can have Superbase up and live. And that is exactly what I'm going to show you. And for this, of course, you will need a VPS, right? So you will need a VPS to host uh, Superbase on. And for that, we are actually going to use Hostinger. So there are two advantages of using Hostinger. First is that they're super affordable. And second is that in just a single click, you can install and have Superbase up and running. So the first thing that you have to do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to hostinger.com. And towards the top, if I click on services, I can click on this option that says VPS hosting. And if I scroll down, I'll be able to find all these plans in here. And you can go ahead and select a plan that suits your use case. But in this case, I'll be going with the KVM2 plan, which costs around 499 rupees per month. And as you can see, here we have two vCPU cores, 8 GB of RAM, 100 GB of disk space, and even 8 terabyte of bandwidth. So the first thing that you have to do is to select the VPS. So in this case, I'll go with KVM2. And now I'll click on choose plan. And as you can see, currently Black Friday deals is going on. And if you are looking to save some extra bucks, well, this is the right opportunity for you. And again, as you can see here, you can select the tenure. So in this case, I'll keep it as 12 month. And if you use the coupon that is Astro, you will be able to get extra 10% discount. Okay, there you go. 10% discount added. Or if you plan to go with the 24 months plan, you can use the coupon that is Astro 15 and get extra 15% discount as well. I'll click apply and there you go instant 15% discount and now here comes the interesting part you need to select the location that is closest to your user so in this case I'll keep it as India and if I scroll down I'll be able to select the operating system or the application and here all I have to do is to search for Coolify and we're going to use Coolify to self-host Superbase so you don't have to play around with any docker configuration or anything as such so I can click on confirm and again if you want to Hostinger also gives you the option to directly uh, self-host Superbase. So as you can see, here we also have the option for self-hosting Superbase. But I think using Coolify is the best because you can have multiple apps in the same Coolify instance and managing all of them will be super easy. And next step, go ahead and click on the continue button and make the purchase. And now once you have your VPS added to your account, you can open that VPS configuration page. And as you can see, it currently have Coolify and I can find a button that says manage panel. So I'll click on the same. And now it will open up the Coolify dashboard. So in my case, I have already created a new project. But if this is your first time, you will be shown a option to create your first ever Coolify account. So make sure you are the first one to actually land on that particular page and you can create a master admin account. So just enter the email address, password and confirm. And once that's done, you'll be taken to a page like this. And first of all, you need to, okay, here we already have like the project. So I'll select the same. And once you select the project, you will find an option that says new towards the top in the resources section. So all you have to do is to click on new and now you need to select the resource. So in this case, Superbase, but not just Superbase, you can self host all of these apps and you know, services that you can see in here. Or even if you have like, let's say an app and if you have the GitHub repo, well, you can connect that to Qualify and even self host and deploy your apps as well. 
Now in this case, we are particularly interested in self-hosting Superbase. So I can go ahead and search for Superbase and there you go. And now I'll click on the same and it will now take us to the configuration page. And if you want to, you can leave all of this as it is. But if you want to customize the name or let's say the username or password or any other things, you can just configure them in here. And now all I have to do is to click on this deploy button right here. So as you can see, the deployment process is in progress and it will take about five minutes to complete. So I'll wait till it is done. All right. So there you go. The deployment process is now successful. And believe it or not, just like that, we have self-hosted Superbase on a VPS and it is ready to be used. So as you can see here, we can find all these credentials. And now to access Superbase, all I have to do is to click on this link option right here. And as you can see here, we can find this URL. And if I click on the same, there you go. It is now asking us to enter the username and password. Well, don't worry, you can head back to Qualify. And here we can find the admin username and also the password. So all I have to do is to copy the same, head back and paste it in here. Then I can copy the password and then head back and paste it in here as well. And I can click on login and there you go. I'm now logged in and here I have self-hosted version of Superbase up and live. And again, here we have table editor and currently we do not have any tables. And here we have database settings, authentication, storage, real time. So pretty much everything works. And again, this right here is your own instance of Superbase. And again, okay, right now this right here is the URL, right? So it doesn't look clean, but if you want to, let's say, use your own custom domain, well, you have options for that. All you have to do is to head back. And if I scroll down, there you go. Here you can find Superbase Kong in services section. You can click on this settings. And there you go here you can find the domain so all you have to do is to replace this domain and after that you just have to get your uh, server ip address which is this one right here and all you have to do is to add like a cname record in your dns settings like domain dns settings and you should be pretty much good to go but for this tutorial i will keep it as it is and now there you go here we have superbase added and next step if I go to let's say SQL editor, so right now, as you can see, we don't really have any tables yet, right? So I'll show you how we can create a table. So maybe I'll just clear all of this. So here I have pasted an SQL query to create a new table and also add RLS and also create a couple of indexes. So as you can see here, I'm planning to create a new table called as to do's and it will have like ID task is complete and created at columns. And now I'll click on run. And there you go it says database setup completed successfully and now if i head back to the table editor there you go here we have a new table called as to do's which is the one that we created just now and again i also added like a couple of dummy you know uh content to the database because in the sql editor itself we had like a insert operation to seed it with some dummy data so just like that that part is complete and next up let's just say you want to use it on a real app that you're working on so next up i'll show you that so towards the top, I can find an option that says connect. Well, I can click on the same. And if I click on, okay, here you can actually get your direct connection string. So if you are using like a ORM or something, and if you want the direct connection string, you can grab it from here. Or if I click on this app frameworks option right here, here we can find a bunch of frameworks like Next.js, Remix, React, Next, etc. So in this case, in this example, I'll show you how we can use it in Next.js. So I'll copy the same. And just for demonstration purpose, here I've created like a simple to do app using cursor. And again, the SQL that you saw was actually given by cursor to sort of create the table. And now to connect to this particular project, all I have to do is to copy these two environment variables. They are next public superbase URL and next public superbase anon key. So I'll copy the same, head back and I'll open the .env.local file. I can paste it in here. There you go. Both of the environment variables are now added and I can, let's say, restart the server. And now I can visit localhost 3000, just like this and hit enter. And there you go. So all these data is being pulled from our self-hosted version of Superbase. For example, I can mark it as completed, uncheck it. Okay, just for demonstration, I'll try to delete all of these data. Like I have deleted a couple of them. And if I refresh, as you can see here, we only have two of them. And now if I head back to Superbase, like the original instance and if i go to table editor as you can see here we only have two of them and next step i'll try to delete every single one of them and no task is there and if i head back and if i refresh there you go we don't have any task and if i try to let's say add a new task with the name i'll give it as new task one two three click on add and if i head back and if i refresh there you go the same is in here 
next step i'll try to add a new one shoot a new youtube video i can click on add there you go we have both of them in here and both of them are no false so let me mark it as completed just like that i can head back refresh and there you go so as you saw in less than 10 minutes we have self-hosted superbase on a vps and we even have an app that is using this particular self-hosted version of superbase and next up let's just say you want to add authentication well you can just go ahead and add that right away so as you saw this is how simple it is to self-host superbase and that too in less than 10 minutes and if you do want to self-host superbase all you have to do is to click the first link in the description below head over to hostinger get a vps set up codify install a super base and you can start using it right away and now that's pretty much all i wanted to show you in this video i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next one